Hi and welcome to another video here on my channel UiPath with Yeve. In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to compare strings and find out how similar they are. So without any delay, let's just get to it. So I'm inside Studio and we're not starting from scratch this time. I've built a very simple solution here. And what it does is it measures people's ability to spell my name. As you may have noticed, I have a, a funny name. My name is pronounced Jeppe D. Jespersen. And especially when I'm traveling and I go to Starbucks in a foreign country, they write some pretty funny stuff on those cups. So I've uh, made up this uh, pretend contest where people will have to guess how I spell my name. So I have this uh, Excel worksheet. And in this worksheet, I have the contestants and I have how they think my name is spelled. And then we have a result column here where the result of their guess will be written. I'll close the Excel workbook, go back into studio and we'll have a look at this solution. So the first thing I do is I assign the correct spelling of my name to a variable called correct spelling. Then I read my Excel workbook. And then for each row in that workbook or in the data table stemming from that workbook, I'm going to do a comparison to the correct spelling. And what I'll do is I'll simply say inside of this else if, I'll say that if the current row spelling to string is equal to the correct spelling, then I'll put in the result column the text correct. And if there's no match up here, then we will put into the result column incorrect. It's as simple as that right now. We'll change that in a second, but let's try and run this. And it has completed. And before we open the workbook, I'll just remind you to hit the red watermark in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. But let's open the workbook. And we can see that of all the contestants, only Tom got it right. Everyone else is incorrect, but he is correct. So that's very nice. He got it 100% correct. But what if he didn't? What if he was an idiot and spelled it like this? Then that would also be incorrect. Let's just confirm that. by running the automation once more. And we'll open the workbook and we can see that now all of them are incorrect. So what if we wanted to find out who was actually the closest to spelling my name correctly? We could do that using what's called the Levenstein algorithm. The Levenstein algorithm calculates the distance between one string and another string in what is often referred to as the edit distance. How many edits to the incorrect string would you have to make in order to make it match the correct string? And there are activities that you can download to do this. So let's jump back into Studio. And we will uh, delete this else if block because we're going to do something very different now. We're going to go into Manage Packages. Then we'll go to All Packages and then we'll search for UiPath team.string. And then we'll select this uh, package called UiPath team.string.activities, install it, and click Save. All right, the package has been installed. And if we go to our toolbox over here, we can see that we have now a group called UiPath Team. Inside of that, we have string, activities, and then we have this activity called the Levenstein algorithm. So let's drag that into the body of our for each block here. What we'll then do is we will say that string one is the correct spelling variable and the string two is the spelling that is in the current row. What this will do is it will yield a result called the output percentage and we will save that in a new variable called our result. And what we'll then do is we will assign that result to the current row result column. And we'll run it. And what it'll do now is it is going to write into the workbook how far were the individual guesses from the actual correct spelling of my name? And we can see that Tom, he only had one mistake, the O instead of an E, and he was 95% correct. And where does the 95 come from? Well, my name, including the spaces here, is 20 characters. So each character that would be wrong would be 5%. So you can see here that, you know, with one character being wrong, 
we get a correctness of 95%. What we could do also in Studio, just to make it a little bit fancier, is we could actually do like a data table sort. I haven't done this for a while. Let's try that. And we will say that the name of the column that I want to sort by is the result. The table that I want to sort is my DT names data table. And then I want to write the result of that sorting into that same data table. I'll do that up here in the properties pane. And we'll also say that the sort order will be descending from highest to lowest. So if we run it one more time, open the workbook, we can now see that Tom here is at the very top of the list. So that's a very quick look at the Levenstein algorithm and how to use it to compare the similarity of two strings. If you liked it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really makes a difference. Hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll know when I put out more videos. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.